This is a video blog for Wednesday the 23rd of September, physical theatre session. Um, so we would continue with Temesis Theatre today but we actually hadn't got any um, of the company members from Temesis. So we were just doing it with Rachel and uh, Michael so they could help clean it up the next time they came in. Um, so... Half of us were doing the chat up lines and half of us were doing like duets and meets, duets meeting on stage and things like that. So the half that was doing the chat up lines went with Rach and I was in the chat up lines. Um, and she wanted to like tidy it up, um, give us an intention and a reason and make it better basically. Um, so a question was, notes on a few things I tried out in the space during rehearsals or workshop. Um, so what Rach decided to do was she got us to go in pairs and I was paired with Lewis and she got us to ask a question about uh, an ex or something like that and Lewis asked me the question does he make me happy to which my response I couldn't give an actual verbal response I had to show it through the body my answer was yes uh, but I showed it by elevating my body um, being quite giddy and making a, <laughs> a noise like quite giddy and excited and like oh it's <laughs> all good and um, so that's how I showed it so I used my facial and my body by opening up my body language to give off good energy instead of closing it off to like show that I'd be scared of something so I opened it up to show that I was happy and like used my facials to support that um, I really liked why Rach did this because then it gave us gave us intention to be in the space uh, so I found this really helpful and I really liked doing that um, and then she wanted us to when we were stood in line waiting to do our chat up lines uh, she wanted us to be um, spaced out in a line uh, but holding a strong position so my strong stance was that I had my hands on my hips and my right foot in front of my left foot um, to give off quite an open confident body language so I was quite strong position uh, which is what I wanted which I, I gave off really well um, so that worked fine for me uh, notes on a few ideas I wish to try and why you think they would be good in the performance space. How would each idea work or impact on the audience? Um, I'm going to keep developing on this character I've got in the chat up lines as I really want to make her over the top and very desperate and exaggerating, just crazy cat lady. Um, I'll do this by pushing the boundaries of my actions until um anyone from Temesis Theatre or Rachel or Michael said that that's too much but until they say that's too much I'm going to keep pushing what I can actually do in the boundaries um, I'm going to do this as I want to be able to deliver uh, the best performance or the best character that I can create from this scenario um, and then by um, really holding strong positions to help with that even when I'm not doing anything just be alive in the space and show energy um, discuss modern practitioners in terms of the themes they look at or look at or skills they apply to their work consider now how they create or develop their work so last blog I mentioned about DV8 and Lloyd Newson Lloyd Newson is the director of DV8 and he uses social issues to get across to the audience which he does touch on subjects that people are too scared to talk about like I said before, he's not afraid to push boundaries or to talk about things that people are too scared to talk about. Um, and this shows in his work from what he does. Um, in, he uses different styles of physical theatre, such as verbatim theatre, which he used was Can We Talk About This? which really did push people's few buttons because of the issues that he covered. Um, Lloyd Newsom will create a piece of work and rehearse it until it is ready, not meet a deadline. So if it's not ready, it's not going on. It's just how Lloyd Newsom works. Uh, brainstorm ideas for your Temesis piece, concepts and physical ideas. Uh, so with my character, like I said before, I'm going to really push it as far as I can get away with just to see what I can do and what character I can create and how I can play about with all the uh, free time that I have 
Uh, so all the time that I've got to stand still while the other people are doing their chat up lines, what can I do in that space and what can I do uh, to make myself still be in character? Uh, with the duets with Hannah, I, I really want to pull out the tender moments because I'm really good at pulling out like harsh, vicious moments. I just struggle with uh, intimacy and things like that to show. Uh, so I'm going to really focus on showing them bits um, during the duet and really pull them out um, and just with brush up on technique. Consider movement, physical concepts such as spatial awareness, contact, relationship, strength, tempo, speed, facial expression, catching, falling and levels. Um, I think my spatial awareness in the chat up lines line is becoming a lot better as I'm not um, focusing on falling over people or falling into the back of the space of the room where we rehearse. Uh, so this is really good because my spatial awareness is improving as I can sense what's around me and things like that. Um, the relationship with the space and other people in the space is getting better because I think we're all just getting used to performing the piece and coming, of our, coming out of our shells and trying different things because when we try different things and experiments, new things happen and it makes the piece much more interesting. A strength of mine was I was able to work as a team um, and I didn't take leadership of the team. I actually took a passenger side seat today so I was really proud of this because this is one of the things I struggle to do with like to let other people have an opinion and voice their opinion. Uh, the speed of this piece is still quite slow this is something that really needs concentrating on and focusing on in the piece because the, sp the speed is quite ploddy at certain bits but this will just come with practice and then we just need to pinpoint the bits where it's lacking. Um, I'm going to work on my facials more in the duets as I'm still struggling to portray in moments of intimacy throughout the face and not through the body so I'm going to work on this as it's going to help me develop in the piece and to be able to actually feel what I'm trying to show uh, this is good because then I'm not forcing what I'm trying to feel uh, and this will give great outcomes and that concludes this blog